should come on this side and do the opening one of these days. I think that would be fun. You think? Uh-huh. Would it be better back here like, like the old-time radio days? <laughs> no. No? No. Well, maybe I should. Come on. Maybe another day. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing another video. It's a haul video on, I think I'm going to keep it to two church sales that we went to yesterday. We were out the door at the crack of dawn because the sale started at 7 and this sale has been hit and miss. One year I do really, really well and then other years, you know, I find stuff. But like this year, I hardly found any toys. In fact, there were guys that beat me in there to pick up, I guess there was Tonka and some Legos and stuff. Totes of, couple, couple, yeah, couple nice totes but, of Lebo, Le, Legos. Yeah, but you know, they had their, of course, tote full of uh, Beanie Babies, but you I didn't, didn't find much. Nope. Nope. Um, and then we went to a second church sale. Um, and then we went to an estate sale, and y'all, I'm so thrilled about the estate sale. That's going to be the next video. Next video. So if we were if we were professional YouTubers, you'd have done a wardrobe change in between these videos. Yeah. Now there's probably going to be three videos, and they're all going to be in my my life is good shirt. That's all I wear anyway. But um, first thing, Robert found this. You know what's funny? I picked it up, looked at it, saw that it said Braun, B R A U N. And thought, eh, meh, and kept on looking. But Robert went ahead and grabbed this. So it is this. It's a Braun made in Germany food processor. Y'all look. It's the, it's the 3210, right? Right, 3210. I don't think it's ever been used. Look, the cord's never been unwrapped. I don't see any. It still has styrofoam in it. Oh, yeah. It's still. Between the. Yeah, right here. I checked comps out after we got in the car yesterday. I hope my memory's serving me right. But just this base, not the bowl, there are sold comps for $75. And then I want to say this was maybe $50 for this part here. It's like a, the bread mixer or something. There's this part, which it's missing one disc. It's supposed to have five if it was complete, it would be about 35 so I'm going to say 25 for this. I want to say this was about maybe 60 for this mixer part. I've got some loosey-goosey. I did better than I thought. Yes, you did. There's this. I don't remember how much I saw for this. But I want to say 15 or so dollars for it. Does that even go with it? Yes. This goes with it. It looks like it's an odd shape. Nope. This part, I think, was going to be about 35 And I may have all the prices jumbled up. But some was 25 35 50 60 And then 75 for the base. Now, there was somebody who had sold. Maybe it was a complete set. But I can't promise everything is here. And they had sold it for $2.99. But I just find it's going to be easier to sell these in small lots you know if all of this goes with this i'll leave it but you know i'm not sure if this whisk should come out and go with this other i don't know i'll have to figure out how it all works together but it's going to be easier to ship with just these small pieces except for the big part and if i didn't say right we paid 20 dollars for all of that no we really want to do this one individually because we had a negative experience with one yes. recently that we, you should explain that the Last night's video, which this is going to be in a while, but last night's what sold video, my big sell was the Bosch. Um, Bosch Universal Mixer. And right after, I mean, I was walking upstairs after making that video and I got a return notice on it. We had made the mistake of not shipping the blender part, when which you say, that's fine. When you say we, you mean Robert, me. Robert, yes. Because um, I didn't see that it was tucked in the corner behind what I needed to ship. Right. So the the blender had its parts, the, the main system and then the bulb, but there were a few little extra pieces that, you know, when we bought it, they were there and I just included them. This person says it's missing, like the whisk was missing the mount 
and another whisk, which nowhere in the pictures does it show that those pieces are there. So she's deciding to return it because there's pieces missing that I didn't have even included in there. So I'm getting a return on that, which is unfortunate. But I think she recognized that you didn't have the picture. You, you did not have the, those pieces in the picture. And so she's returning it for changed mind. She changed her mind. Not, not as an eye mad because it's missing things that she thought was there. Right. But it's unfortunate because it was a $200 sale. But lesson learned, I, when I relist this, I'm prob that, the Bosch, I think I'm going to just split it up. I'm going to split all the pieces apart and sell it as replacements because, you know, I, you know, I didn't know that there was other pieces that needed to go with those pieces to make them work with the system. And I mean, it was a whisk. You know, the main two pieces that work with that mixer were there and complete. So, lesson learned, I'm not even going to try to sell stuff like this, you know, as they are because... You know, I don't know if something's going to be missing. So we'll that's make, my experience. We'll make more money and it's easier to ship anyway. Yes, exactly. Hopefully it all gets back here safe and sound because, you know, it is breakable. And all right, from, the, from that same sale, y'all, I was sitting here. Robert was on the phone before we started this video. So I was just kind of looking at everything else. And I bought this because I've sold these in the past. Look, Presto Microwave Hot Topper. It's just a convenience thing. You melt your butter, squirt it on your uh, popcorn. But it was sealed when I bought it yesterday for a dollar. Oh. Is it full of money? <laughs> I wish. As soon as I opened it up, y'all, it smells very buttery. So I knew it was used. But look, it's still full of butter. But it has the rest of its parts. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's worth cleaning it. What's it worth? About 20. I'm not sure it's going to be worth cleaning that. We'll see. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Just scrape that out and throw it in the dishwasher. And run it real quick. But yeah. Open up your boxes. Alright. And what else? Oh, I bought these. Oh, I want to say I paid, f I think, $4 for all of this. But these are Ray Dunn, but they're melamine. They're not breakables. And these two bowls were roast. And then I think all four of these say party. I want to say, you know, I probably list the four and the, the two together. Um probably 25 30 bucks I don't remember but I knew it was worth picking up so very cool I like melamine we do really well with it even these the vintagey stuff that's not radon I shipped 12 melamine plates yesterday two yes, sets of six two sets all right and then we went to another church sale Robert grabbed these they were what a dollar each I want to say two dollars each. Oh, two dollars each because we've started doing some hikes. Okay, we've done a hike, a hike, and we're yeah. going to do more though. And we're going to do more. The weather's just not been cooperating. Um, but I struggled, y'all. I ain't young. I struggled climbing up some of the steeper areas. So he grabbed these, they extend out, so they're just walking sticks. So I thought this would be perfect that we can take these and make sure you know I don't fall and break a hip. You about fell down a pretty steep embankment while we were there at one yes. point. Yes. I was in slow motion getting ready to fall, and I made sure I drug my arm behind me, and he grabbed me before I took a tumble. It was it was like slow-mo, and as the arm was coming around, I was thinking, I really love this lady. Life insurance. <laughs> You're such a meanie. Such a meanie. All right. I grabbed some coffee mugs. Look. I'm kind of a big deal. It is Big Mouth Ink. It's huge. But it has some crazing, I just noticed. That's probably... I'm hoping still to list it like 8 to $10. Ever since I changed my shipping to the buyer pays my discounted, I sell a lot of mugs. So I'm this year, I'm just going to keep picking up, you know, specialty and vintage. Pikachu, 
it says 2016. Grabbed it. Again, I, my go-to is like $8 to $12 even on these mugs. <laughs> you are so bad. All right, Pier 1 Imports. Very cute. And then I grabbed. Are these the same kind of esk? Oh, they are. Very intriguing. These were a dollar each, so I, you know, pick, look, they are Yankee Candle. I'm not sure if I'll list them together or apart, because, I mean, they easily fit in a priority box, but it'd probably be easier to ship apart. Um, I don't know. Sometimes Yankee Candle, if it's, you know, there's certain ones that sell for a lot, and a lot for me is like 25, 30, 40 bucks. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping 15 to 20 bucks for each. And I paid a dollar. It was 50 cents. I grabbed it. It said Easter Unlimited. I'm pretty sure I have another one. It's not the one. Of course, the screen mask is the one. So I may just make a lot of two now and hopefully that'll be enough. But somebody's cut out the... I guess it looks like they've cut out the, the chin. I think this might be the no I think there was another plush but rabbit definitely vintage it is MTY International made in Taiwan Just loved it probably like $14.95 I thought this was very cute it has chickens and turkeys and just village pieces for a Christmas village or if, I guess it could be non-Christmas Again, I think it was a dollar, so I'm hoping maybe like $15 to $20 for it. And I'm pretty sure it'll fit in a shoebox. Already in the molds. It doesn't look like anything's going to move around. Y'all, I'm going to have a hard time with this one. Play school. Look, a reel to reel. It says 1972. It has these in it. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do. Why are you going to have a hard time with it? Because I'm going to want to put it right there. <laughs> Look, there's space. There's space for it. Down here is more of these cards. When I looked it up, it really wasn't selling for a lot. And somebody had said they had like 35 of these. I don't have that many. Um, and it was still only going to be like $15. I can't tell. I think there's... I don't know what it's supposed to do, but probably going to go on my wall. You should put her over there next to my uh, Foghorn Leghorn figure. <laughs> Just let it go. Let it go. But let luckily, it go. luckily for me, Tracy was nice and sent me another one. And there you go. You've got Foghorn Leghorn right there. And then on the way between the two yard cells, we found a... Uh, I mean, the two church cells, we found a yard cell. And y'all, I've been to this yard cell in the past and just ridiculous prices. Ridiculous. So Robert didn't even get out of the car and then started wondering why I was in there for so long. But it, it ended up, they really are moving. So it was a good sell. But I grabbed this for a dollar. Snap-on tools. I already sent a picture of it to my son and he's claiming it always. He's a mechanic slash maintenance type person at one of our local car dealerships and loves Snap-on and Matco and all of that stuff. So he's thrilled for a dollar. You should have sent it to him and said, I found a shirt for myself <laughs> just to, just to drive him crazy. Well, I sent him the picture and I, I said, then I sent him, oh, he was like, whoa, way cool. That kind of stuff. He's 19. And then I said, it's an extra large. And he's like, well, if you're asking me if I want it, yes, of course. <laughs> Look, I, man, I hope it works. Look, I paid $3 for it. Y'all, they're sold comps for $69.99 for this. This is definitely one of those ones to be on the lookout for. It is Jimmy. It is a singing Christmas tree. I peeked inside to make sure it had the hat. Because a lot of times the hat is missing, and it does. So now it's just a matter of... Fingers crossed, it works. I think you could probably still sell this as replacement parts. But fingers crossed, $69. Once upon a time, Robert picked up one of these petals. 
Yeah, it's different than that one. Different but. from this one. And when I saw this, it says Ernie Ball. I looked it up. I want to say 30, 40, 50 bucks. And when I asked her how much for it, 50 cents. So I, you know, I will sell it untested, you know, 20, 25 bucks. It's very, very dirty in there. So I'll have to get a toothbrush in there and try to clean it out some. But fingers crossed it sells, you know, very quickly for me because the last one was instant, instant. We had a comment and we, we, we've had it before and we've, I know we've talked about this before, but not everybody's watched all our videos about how I find good stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's easier for me to do that because I know you're going to go get the bread and butter stuff plus other really good stuff too, but you're going to get the toys. You're going to get that stuff. I don't vintage even have to, Christmas. Vintage Christmas. I don't even bother looking at that mm -hmm. stuff until I've gone through everything else and I'm waiting on you. Then I'll kind of meander through to see if you've overlooked something. But I go focus on kitchen appliances, books, and things that we've never seen before. Don't know what they are. And I look them up, find that that eyewear vision thing, you know, that sold for $2,000. Because I know you've got the other stuff covered. It right. works out really well for We're us. We're a very good team when it gets go in the houses we go our separate ways and and i'm you know over the time i'm learning things that i know to get you know like you know if i find levi's for a couple bucks i'm getting them certain kitchen appliances i'm going to get them because i know they're going to be worth money i just grab them the same way you grab other stuff but i also have extra time to look up weird stuff mm -hmm. funny thing is i can watching crazy lamp lady the other day i saw her pick one of these up probably still only going to be bread and butter but I think she charged me 50 cents or something for it. And I'll probably just go ahead and leave these little pine cones in it also. I'm hoping, you know, like 12, 15 bucks for it. And it'll be easy to ship. Now you're going to say this is two pounds, right? Yep. Because we don't have a good... This is what you have to consider when you're selling some of this stuff. We don't have a box that we keep in stock that will fit that very well other than a priority box. Mm -hmm. We have... It's just because of the, the, the bulkiness of this thing. We have things that we have a 12 by 6 by 6 that is great for a lot, lot of stuff, but this isn't going to fit in here because it's too wide. So you need to make sure that you put it in a large enough box when you list it so that we can use the priority box, even though it's probably only going to weigh like 13 or 14 ounces boxed. We don't want to have to try to find that box mm -hmm. that day. I think she charged me 50 cents or even a quarter for this. But it says TPI 1994 on the back. It's a blow mold Christmas star. I don't know. I didn't even bother looking it up. I do really well with especially the smaller ones. Now, I've got some of those big blow molds. Never again. Never again because I sold a few of them. But I still have some of them pre-boxed. I know the shipping's ridiculous. But mostly never again because of the look I'm giving her back here. I, yeah from having to box those things. Yep. And then they've it's been it's been two Christmases and they've still not sold. So never again. Will I take them down now? Maybe hopefully eventually they'll sell, but they're already boxed. Um but I'm going to try to stick with just like the baby Jesus cuz you know he's smaller um and then stuff like this. I, I'm hoping 25 or more for this. We have a, a limit self-imposed limit on things that require a custom box yes. that require pre-packing it's got to be worth at least 50 bucks with a few exceptions with a few exceptions but generally <laughs> because it needs to be worth the time and effort to figure out what box i'm going to have two boxes i'm going to put together cut down a, a large walmart box or something it needs to be worth the time and effort yes but when she says with, with a few exceptions for the things that she likes i'm still going to get stuck with it yes yes Look, vintage ironing board cover. I mean, when we were at a thrift store the other day, there was a lady in the back that I could see ironing all of their clothes. People, I guess, still use ironing boards. Not here. We have a dryer. That's about the best you're going to get for ironing. And we have a steamer. Oh, we do so. have the steamer. Yes. But that's still not ironing. No, but... most, most of the wrinkles that I need to get out of something can be done, like you said, in the dryer. In the dryer. I want to go ahead and grab it. It was, I want to say, a quarter or 50 cents also. I'm hoping 10 to $12 for it. I picked up some, um, well, both of us 
clothing at one of the churchyard sales. How much? I think the pants were a dollar and the jackets were two dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. I think this was the only one I, they charged me as a jacket. Um, but I looked this up and there were comps for like 25, 30 bucks. I'm not sure. I couldn't find this specific one, but it says Colby Brock Fanjoy. It's a big old hoodie. It's got some condition issues. Like it's faded back there. I'm hoping 20, $25 for it. I saw the pants that went with this and I skipped them and then I found the top and I went back and got them. But these are Chico Weekenders. Again, I paid a dollar for each piece. Um, I just thought I'd go ahead and I'm not sure if I'll list them together or go ahead and list them separately. But I'm hoping like $15 for each piece. I looked up this brand, cute little dress, but it said logo by Lori Goldstein. It was a large size 2X. And a lot of the ones that I saw listed were, you know, $20, $25. So, you know, I went ahead and grabbed it. And this is probably my favorite find from the church sale. And I don't even know, but man, I remember in high school, all of us, especially those that ran track, which I was a track runner, I had these. Look, it's Adidas windbreaker pants and a matching jacket. Definitely has vintage vibes because it's got the hanging tag, not the stamp. I didn't see any stains. I don't know. Adidas, I don't know. I'm hoping 40. That's my guess on this. I didn't even look them up. There were others. There were some pants and some shirts. I'm forever picking up the non-jeans. Oh, this one has its tags. Is it vintage? I'm sure not. No, probably not. Champion red jacket with tags. Power blend. Did you look it up? No. No. And all of this stuff, I, th I still think they only charged me a dollar for these. It was two dollars for that one for whatever reason. Oh. I only thought I remember hearing her say two dollars once. And then everything else was a dollar. No, for whatever reason. She called that one a jacket. I think jackets were two because she, she said oh. two dollars for that one. I think they were. I think they were two instead of three. All right. So just lots of stuff. I'm loving the variety getting out. It's not just bins bags anymore for us or the occasional estate sale. So it's it's fun getting back out and, you know, accumulating stuff to get listed. And that's what I'll be doing this week, getting to work, right, everybody? We all got to get to work. Hopefully you guys are starting to see some yard sales in your, your area. Um, those of you up in the north, maybe not yet, but soon, soon. 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 All right, get to work. Bye.